Number one, female slutty celebrities. We're talking about, you know, reality stars, pop stars, female stand with comedians, all that brag about, you know, how many dudes they slept with and how slutty they are, you know? People like, you know, Megan Trainer and uh, Miley Cyrus, Nikki Glazer, the stand up comedian. She talks about blowing three different dudes in one day, you know? These female celebrities are making it seem like being a slut is like the cool thing to do. And all these regular chicks out there are looking up to them as role models, thinking it's okay, you know? You know, back in the day, if you blew three different dudes in one day, you were a crack hoe. Number two, swipe dating apps. We're talking Bumble and Tinder. Dating in 2020 has been reduced to a finger swipe. For some chicks, a full length swipe is too much work. So they press the like button because it's easier. They don't even read the bios anymore. They don't care what you're looking for. If you look hot in your first picture, they want to bang you. And then it's on to their next match. Number three, women are heavier these days. I don't know if you ever noticed this, but bigger chicks seem to be sluttier than the ones that are, you know, thin and attractive. Ever notice that? Or is it just me? It seems like the average chick is 30 pounds heavier than they were 20 years ago, okay? You know, Kate Moss 20 years ago was a standard for chicks to follow. You know, today, it's that plus size model, whatever her name is, <laughs> you know, so chicks are accepting her as the norm. And in return, they're getting fat because they think it's okay. And as a result, they're getting sluttier too. Number four, the Sex in the City type show. Sex in the City was the first to kick off the whole idea of slut empowerment. It was a woman's right to have crazy amount of sex partners like a guy would, right? There's a whole bunch of shows like this on nowadays that chicks are binge watching like crazy. You see, back in 05, this was on HBO and it was hella controversial. Now it's on the CW and PBS and TBS or whatever the hell. Give it 15 more years, and they'll be showing reruns of the show on Disney+. Plus. Mark my words. And last but not least, number five, single mom culture. This all came about from the mid-90s divorce craze. A lot of chicks these days never had a healthy relationship with their dad. They were raised by one parent. So they simply think that the one parent family is natural. Plus, it's a cool thing to do these days. Having your own personal baby? It's what all the pop stars are doing, right? It's shoved down their throats here in 2020. You see, back in the 80s, you'd see a single mom every once in a blue moon. They were elusive as fuck. But today, single moms are the norm. And being a slut is how you end up becoming a single mother.